As we mentioned earlier, Lorentz had found a way to rescue the ether if he postulated the idea that the length could be contracted along a relativistic transformation between two reference frames. We're now going to show that length contraction does occur, but for a completely different reason. It arises out of the, prop the lag in propagation time for the speed of light when reviewed by two different observers. Previously, we learned that the coordinates x, y, z, and t in one frame do not become the same coordinates in a different frame, s prime. They become a new set of values, x prime, y prime, z prime, and t prime. And by the Lorentz transformations, these are not equal coordinates. There is an invariant quantity known as s squared, and that is equal to s, uh, ct squared minus the radial position squared. The result is, because this is the invariant quantity, and all observers in all frames will calculate the same value for this quantity, that the individual components t and r, or t and x, don't necessarily have to be the same. The fact that s squared is invariant will do unusual things to Minkowski diagrams, as we'll see shortly. So just as an example, let's consider the, what would be the length of a ruler as viewed by two different observers. Let's suppose that we're standing in a reference frame s, and we're standing on top of a ruler and we measure its length. We'll say it, we determine it to be one meter. Let's suppose another observer in frame S prime is passing through this frame at a speed v. What length would they report for the length of the ruler? It's important to remember that the quantity that's invariant between both, both the observer in S prime and the observer in S is this quantity S squared CT squared minus X squared. The Earth observers would calculate the same value for this thing, although they would use different values for T prime x prime and t and x. We measure the ruler's length at a point A and at the point at the origin and the point A has a value of s squared equal to 0 squared minus 1 meter squared to give a total value of minus 1 meter squared. All points in the hyperbola have the same value of s squared of equal to minus 1 meter squared and in particular this location A prime shown that coincides with the x prime axis should have the same value of s squared. Since a prime has a value of t prime equals zero, then the observer in s prime thinks that this thing is one meter from the origin. However, an observer s prime thinks that while this is one meter from the origin and, and is a, saying it's a point along the x prime axis, the world lines for the ruler are passing along where these red dashed lines are. The observer in S prime looks at the place where the, the world line for the ruler intersects with the X prime axis and thinks that that's the length of the ruler. So this is at a location B prime. Because when an observer in S prime makes the length of the ruler, the, the observer tries to find two locations at the same value of time, say at the value of T prime equals zero. B prime is clearly at a value of X prime which is shorter than A prime. And so the observer in S prime will say that the ruler is shorter than one, one meter in length. As a result, the lengths of objects observed in S prime are contracted relative to the frame S. This works both ways. Let's suppose that an observer in S prime has a ruler. It will look shorter to us when we observe it in the frame S. If a ruler is sitting in the frame S prime, which is, and you're passing along with it, and you've determined its length to be one meter, the world lines for the ruler, according to me, in the frame S, look like so. They are slanted in my reference frame of CT and X, and they're slanted to the right by the velocity between our two frames. In my frame, I'm going to try to evaluate the distance between the two ends of the ruler to get its length. But I'm going to do, that, do so at a pair of times that are equal. Since my measurement effectively projects the ruler along the x-axis, the apparent length of the ruler to me will be shorter. Now I'm somewhat uh, being incorrect here because it's not exactly the case that the x and x prime, the two axes, have the same unit system. Remember that there's an invariant. We'll do this a little bit more mathematically correct in just a moment, but the basic conclusion is true. The observer riding along with the ruler in s prime thinks it's one meter in length, and the movie, person moving relative to the ruler thinks it's shorter. Length contraction is not a particularly a mystery. Its origin comes from the admixture of space and time that occurs in a Lorentz transformation. Each of us, one in frame S and one in frame S prime, is attempting to observe a pair of points at the same time in our respective frames. The problem is that the two events that are simultaneous for me are not necessarily simultaneous for you. 
So while each of us would say we performed a set of simultaneous measurements, we must remember that simultaneity is relative. The end result is that our estimates of length will differ.